Hey, it's Chaosmouse here, and welcome back to our blind playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Let's go. Hello! So, we are in the Middle Ages, and we just got, last time, we just got this legendary sword called the Mesamune, and we also got this item called the Gate Key. And I don't know where to use it. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about today's episode, just because I have no idea where to go next. Um... I don't know of any gates around here that haven't been opened. So I guess we're just going to have to explore the area and see what we find. Oh, there's a magic cave here. Let's check that out. Hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Yeah, so when we discovered the Mesamune, this kind of legendary sword that only the hero can wield, um, it turns out it's broken. So we are going to have to get that repaired. And again, I don't know where or how, <laughs> but we got that in the Denodoro Mountains, so I'm guessing we're not going back that way. Maybe we're done with this part of the world, and we're kind of... Maybe the key is to be used somewhere else. Let's have another mooch around. Okay, so I've done a whole heap of mooching around here, and I, I'm convinced that there's nothing else to do here. So I need to get out of this time period, I think head back to the end of times. So, I think it's this way, isn't it? To get to the gateway? I believe. Oh, of course. We're gonna deal with these little punks. A Polly and a green imp. I think we should be able to just one-hit these guys now. Yeah, it's all good. We are super strong compared to these guys now. Even Marley can one-hit them. She didn't even fire a crossbow at them. She just whacked them with it. <laughs> Or fire a bow. Anyway, let's get to the gate and get back to the end of times and then I don't know which time frame to go to, but I don't know. Maybe maybe the guy in the end of times will tell us something. Okay, let's have a chat with this dude. Come see me anytime. Think of me as your guide. Okay, that's... Are you going to give me some guidance then? <laughs> right, I'm just going to save it. Tater and the frog. So Tater was the little kid. But we haven't found the frog. Hmm. Okay. So where can we go? We've just come from... We've come from there, so we don't. We definitely don't want to go there. I don't want to go back to 65 million BC. I don't. I've got no reason to go back to the future. Medina is that? We don't want to go to Lean Square because that's right. Like that's where literally where we started the game. I don't think there's anything to do there. So it looks like this is our only option. Although, oh, we're in the cupboard. I forgot about this. <laughs> hey, dudes. How's it going? Don't mind me. You can use magic? Magic using humans supposedly perished long ago. Oh yeah, this is like... I think this is the same time period, but... Like the other part, the, the other kind of side of the world, I guess. So what have we got here? The Hecarim Cave. That was the thing that I did in the missing episode. So sad. <laughs> Say! Where's Melchior? There's a note. What does it say? Sorry, but I'm out on the road peddling my wares. Please come back some other time. What? The keys are gone when we need them the most. Did we need them? Okay. Maybe we can loot his house. <laughs> As always, that's your first thought. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, can we can we read the book? No. All right, let's just leave then. He's he's out peddling his wares. Peddling them where? I guess we just visit town and see what's going down. So we've got the elder's house, we've got a residence, Medina Square, and the marketplace, which it might be the place where he's peddling his wares. I guess we should go there. Oh, I remember this dude. He sells everything at extortionary prices. Yeah, 
57,000 for a, uh, an iron blade. I wonder if he, seeing as he thinks that's the, the normal going rate, maybe we could sell stuff to him for crazy prices? No. No. <laughs> he just doesn't want us buying off him, does he, I guess? Oh, what's this blue crystal? The forest ruins. Have we been there? Right, I'm going to have a little look around town, see if there's anything interesting going on, and if not, we'll go to the forest ruins. Right, so I couldn't find anything interesting to do in town, so we're going to the forest ruins. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, we've been here before. It is a cool blue pyramid crystal thing, but there's nothing to do with it. Oh boy. Hang on, did I see a little purple thing in the corner there? Oh, it was just a flower. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh boy. We are lost. Okay, so I don't I don't think this is the time period we need to be in because there's nothing to do here. We've done everything that can be done as far as I can see around here. There's no one else to talk to. So it's back in the cupboard, I think. Oh, is that not an option? Oh, God. I thought it wasn't an option then. I thought we were going to be stuck again. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to go to a different time period. I don't know which one, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, hopefully we'll figure something out. I'll do some running around, and then I'll catch you up when something interesting happens. Right, so we're now in the Cursed Woods, and I remember this from last time now, that we kind of... We ran in here, and we, um... We kind of looted all the chests, and then just stormed out. And I'm seeing that, because so we didn't fight any of en the enemies. And I'm seeing that these enemies now are, like, the toughest that we've come across so far. Or at least, you know, they're decently tough, which is always a good sign, I think, that you're going in the right direction. Like, if you're fighting enemies that are really super weak, you've probably gone kind of far back. Because, you know, the, the stuff should be getting gradually harder and harder. So, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to properly explore it, because I just literally stormed in, grabbed the chests and got out of there. So, I'm going to have a little look around this place. Because um, it's the only place left that I can think of going. Um, I haven't gone back to the prehistoric world because I really don't think there's anything to do there. Or at least not right now, anyway. Um, right. One last set of critters. Well, or just one critter. Okay, this guy is not going to last very long, is he? Um... I think this is the last enemy on the screen, and then we can have a little mooch around. I mean, it might be that there's kind of... There's a path off to one of the sides that I just missed while I was kind of running in and out. I hope there's something here, because otherwise I'm in a real pickle. I can't believe, by the way, we're already up to episode 10. It seems to have flown by, storming through the game. And I've heard that it's not that long of a game. Like, you know, as RPGs go, anyway. Kind of 20, 25 hours, something like that. Um, so, yeah, we've probably made some pretty good ground. Oh, hang on, there was more enemies down there. Yeah, I mean, we've we've discovered... Oi! Can we fight them or what? <laughs> um, we've discovered the kind of the legendary sword. We just need to get it repaired. Because the legendary sword is what's going to defeat Magus. Although Magus is not Lavos. Although is it Magus that summons Lavos? So if we put a stop to one then it stops both. I don't know. So much to discover. Right. Okay. I think we're actually free to kind of explore now. So we've got that chest. We can't go over there. Can't go over there. Can we go over here? Sometimes it's kind of tricky with this game knowing... What what's the edge of a screen and what's kind of um, you know what's the edge of a screen? What? I was just what? I was just going around pressing A and I'm inside a bush. What? Um, oh god, there's more of them. Yeah, it's tricky knowing what things are sometimes in this game and you know what's a path and what's not. <laughs> um, it's one of the cool things in Final Fantasy VII where if you press select. It puts a little arrow on every exit and entrance to the to the area. So you can't kind of... Things can't blend into the background sneakily. Who's there? Hey! It's Froggy! Hence why it's called Frog and Tater. Tis thee, Chrono. Thou art here to practice thy skill in swordplay. 
<laughs> Didn't know you lived in a bush. You hath done well to find this locale. The 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 hero badge. What? Aye. Then thou hast seen the lad. Yet there's nary a thing I can do against Magus. The legendary Masamuno is required to fight Magus, and I have no right to wield it. Please leave now. What? Oh, what's he got? What's he left behind there? A broken sword. It's part of the Masamune. It's engraved with archaic letters. I think I can read it. Um. Melchior. Melchior. The guy in Medina Village? What does this mean, Chrono? It means we're going to play Melchior a visit. But I don't, don't be miserable. Come along with us. Nary a soul remains to mendeth the Masamune. Aw, oh, man. I thought we were going to team back up with Frog Bear. Aw, oh, see you later, buddy. I hope we team up with him again one day. Right, so here we are back in 1000 AD, and we're going over to Melchior's hut, and he's home! He stopped selling his wares. You're back again. Come to see my collection. This, this sword, it's the Masamune. How did you get it? Why would your name be engraved on the sword? It's a long story. We've got time. You do want to hear this story, right? Of course. Tell us about the Masamune. Is it possible to reforge it? Hmm. It might be possible if we could get our hands on some dreamstone, which the sword is made of. Dreamstone? Where can we get that? You can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available for a very long time. Where's the story? <laughs> I doubt you'll find any you'll ever find the redstone, but if you bring some to me, I will fix the Masamune. Keep the sword with you until then. Would you like to buy something? I don't know, what have you got to offer? Ooh. Ah, that's a very small improvement for a very large price. <laughs> okay, so a Titan Vest would be an improvement. Quite a decent improvement for uh, Luca, so we'll get one of them. We've got plenty of tonics. Doing okay for mid tonics. Yeah, we're all good. I'll just stick this on Marley and then we'll do something. <laughs> Clearly, he's a, a maker of swords. So, presumably that's why his name's on it. But then, it's a very old sword, isn't it? How old is Melchior? Either way, it's not to be found in this time period, is it? Because he said it was a very long time ago that Redstone was about. So how far back? Well, I guess we could go 65 million years is a hell of a long way back to go. But um, that's quite far back, isn't it? What else have we got? Okay, that's the, si the same time period. That's the future. So definitely not. That's a little bit back, but then... We've done everything that there is. I don't know. I don't think there's anywhere else to explore the Truce Canyon. Although, now that we have this new information, we might have, you know, unlocked the, um, the ability to kind of speak to a new person. Okay, I'm gonna check out. It makes sense, doesn't it? Go way back. He said it hasn't been seen for a very long time. So let's go 65 million years back. I don't know what happened there. I went all cowboy. <laughs> Why? Oh, aliens! They're all green and scaly. What are those? These weren't here last time. I don't think. Were they? I don't remember this. <laughs> Right, we'll do a spin cut. Oh no, that's not what we want. A slash? No? No! Where's the one that attacks lots of people? Maybe they're not stood close enough to each other. Oh god. Okay. Um, oh, she can do a napalm. Oh! No! 
Oh god, they've sent her to sleep. Thank god it missed on everyone else. Can I have our turn, please? Oh my god, what's going on? Oh god. Are we supposed to lose this fight? Because if we're not, <laughs> it's going very badly. Wake up, guys. Ouch! Okay, no, no, I don't think we are supposed to lose. <laughs> okay, we've been reawakened. Oh, God. Right, uh, what can we do? Right, give one of them an ice. That should finish one of them off, I would have thought. Hopefully. Yes, smashed it. These guys are some pretty tough cockies, aren't they? Right, where's the one that... There, Cyclone, that was what I was looking for. Boom, we can get all three. Fingers crossed, it's very powerful. Oh no, it wasn't quite strong enough to kill them. But I think we're going to be able to finish each one of them off now with just one hit. Boom, there we go. I thought we were like set up to lose that fight or something. Maybe they were going to like send us all to sleep and then capture us or something. No, it was just me being a fool. <laughs> hey, level ups all round. What? Oh god. We're outnumbered. What should we do, Karno? Oh! Wow, some kind of cat lady! Goodness, she's tough! Who is that woman? Uh oh, they're coming our way! Okay, well, we can deal with four. Where's the cat lady gone? Is she gonna join our team? That'd be epic if she joins our team. Although, who would we drop? Who would we let go? Oh, I don't know. It might have to be Luca, just because Marley's got the ability to heal people. You can't not have a healer on your team, can you? It's just outrageous. Oh, God. Get up, Chrono. Start this again. Come on, Ma. Oh, Marnie's attack is useless. She's definitely getting dropped. If we get that cat woman. I'm sorry, Marley. I mean, Luca. <laughs> but you're gone. I mean, the fire attack is good. But, um... Which, to be honest, I should probably be using more. Um... Because that clearly is her forte, isn't it? Boom. But yeah, her physical attack is awful. God, got me up against the wall. Kuro! What's she doing to me? You're strong. What name? Kuro, huh? Good name. Me? Ayla. Oh? Is she one of the uh, cave ladies? She must be joining our team then if we've given her a name. Me, Ayla. Ayla likes strong people. So Ayla like Kuro. Get away from her, Kuro! I think she likes you, Kuno. Yeah, I think Marley does too. <laughs> you strong too. I respect strong people. Men and women. Oh, brother. <laughs> where have they been keeping her? Kuno, where from? Uh, how can we explain? We're from way after the day after tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> way after the day after tomorrow. <laughs> You're funny. I like funny people. It's no use. Come to village. We talk and eat. Dance, eat, fun. We'd love to go, but we've got to go look for the dream stone now. Have we? Stones? Plenty stones. Here, there, at village. You take plenty. Chrono, come. Ioka village this way. Well, we've actually already been to your village once. But, um... No one really wanted to talk to us. Oh god, we gotta fight these dinosaurs again. Alright. Right, I'm gonna fight my way through to the village. <laughs> right, here we go. Out the caves and we're off to Ioka village. Well, this is an Ioka hut anyway. You wear odd skins. Is she in one of these huts? The chief's... Ah, she's in the chief's hut. Do you think she's the chief? Good. Chrono, come. Night soon, and ready for party. Come, Chrono. Let's 
This I know all. New friends here. Strong man. Chrono. Friends of Chrono. Marley. Luca. Anga! Now we dance. Hey, do you remember when we went to the little dancing thing in um, in our own time in the in Lean Square, and we did we did the prehistoric dance as well there, didn't we? We should be a pro at this. Oh, hello. Oh, we met her, didn't we? The first time we came here, I think. You are outsiders, but I'll give party. Why? Because we're strong. Chrono, eat. Sing, dance. Okay, steady on. We got the guy on the bongos. Good music. We passed down to many generations. You did? It's still going in my time. Oga bonga monga meeple. Dance with wind people. They're twisting my arm. Oh god, Luke is getting into it. Come on, Chrono, let's party! Okay, let's go. Chrono, you try? Special Jurassic pork soup. Good stuff. I love fight reptiles. Reptites. Their leader, Azala. Very smart. All in Ayoko village, fight. No fight, go to Laruba village. Don't know where village is. Always hide. Azala wants to destroy Ayoka and Laruba. But Ayala no lose. Only when Ayala dead, give up. Enough. Meet Chrono today. Good day. Eat, party, sing, dance. Yeah, so, um, there's apparently another village that are kind of peaceful and don't want to fight. But they don't know where it is. This is fantastic. I want to dance too. Well, join in. <laughs> Marley's moves are classic. Yum. Chrono, you've got to try some po poi. Spoon it up. Let's give it a whirl. Are you a man or a mouse? Do it in one gulp. God. It's a bowl the size of my head. <laughs> Chrono, you look for red rock? Rare red rock. Sign of power. Isla strongest in Ioka village. So Isla's rock. You want? You challenge Isla. You win, then I'll give to you. Oh god. Can't we just be friends? <laughs> oh, go on then. <laughs> Bring plenty of soup. Party now, so eat. Krona and Isla have soup race. Oh, it's not a fight challenge, it's a soup challenge. <laughs> we start now. Press A button much times. Come on. Go, Chrono! Guzzle like you've never guzzled before! This is a uh, years of practice at track and field. Should mean I smash this. Enough, Chrono. You win. I give you rock. Chrono, eat plenty. Eat last ball for health. Okay, eat. Maybe eat too much. <laughs> I think we've had enough. Ah, oh, sleeping it off. H heavy night. Phew. What? Liar? I was a perfect lady last night. Why does my tummy hurt so? God. Marley looks out of it. Morning, Chrono. Wasn't that fun last night? Did we get our red rock? Hey, who made these footprints? It's gone. The gate key's been taken. Oh, what? I don't even know what it is, but I want it back. <laughs> These prints were left by the thief. Without it, we're stuck here forever. Oh, that gate key. Oh, no. This isn't funny. Let's go see Isla. Snod. Hmm, she's sleeping. <coughs> Wake up. <laughs> huh? Chrono, you up already? Yawn. Too much soap. Sleep like stone. Sorry to wake you, but we've been robbed. What? It must be the reptites. Chrono, come with Isla. We settle with reptites. Who else come? Ah, okay, so we have to take Isla along. 
And we're going to take Marley as well. Sorted. Let's go. Cool, we got a new member of the crew. Someone from Village G. We got ass, Chrono. Come. Ooh. It's like Bill and Ted's adventure. We're going to take her into the future and she's going to be like... It's going to be like, she won't know what's going on. <laughs> Welcome. What do you have? Fang, petal, horn, feather. Bring three of each of any two items. I give you one weapon or one item. What you give me? Oh, I've got plenty of them. What else? Uh, you can have some horns. Trade for sage bow. Okay. Fair enough. Still want trade? Um, does it matter? Is there a certain kind of... Certain combos that we need? Okay, I'm just going to give a fang and a feather because that's all we've got left in terms of having three of something. Ruby vest. Okay, I'll take it. No, I don't want trade. I have no... Sorry. Bring three of each of any two items. Nothing to trade. Sorry. Right, we'll have to check out those things then. Well, the bow will be for Marley, won't it? Uh, oh, no, not Isla. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good increase. I'll take a bit of that. And the ruby vest. Hey, now that is a pretty nice uh, boost as well. I'll give that to Marley. Boom. Thank you very much, caveman. Let's see if we can give anything to Isla. Oh, she just likes to fight with her fists. Okay, she's got a ruby vest already, which is really good. Right, let's go. She knows what she's doing. Right, so we just need to find out, has anyone seen the person who robbed us? Okay, so this place is all about trading. That's all they're interested in. Where Kino? Gone all morning. Ah, uh, is Kino going to be the one who knows about it? Or maybe she's the one who stole it? Forest maze. Scary place. Many monsters and paths to get lost on. Chief, be careful. Oh, are we going to the, uh, the forest maze, maybe? We did go in here once, but... Ah, there's Kino. But we didn't have a clue what we were doing. <laughs> Kino, what do you do? Say now! Ayla, Kino take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayala best. Ayla like Chrono, but Kino not like. Oh, God. Ayla! Ayla, mellow out! <laughs> Kino, you know why I punish. Ayla no like Kino. No! Ayla like Kino best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. Ayla. Sorry, Isla. Sorry, Chrono. Give back stuff to Chrono. No have. Reptites take. Reptites? Where they go? Run into the trees. There. Isla go too. Kino, go back village. Kino, protect village when Isla got not there. Okay, Isla. All right. Time to uh, get some reptites. Kino is man, so if Isla die, Kino chief then. Isla? Isla. Chase reptites. Get back Rona stuff. Time straight. Ooh, is that a chest? So weird the way they change the kind of what the chests look like in each different area. I guess it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And all the. Oh! What was that? I haven't even checked out Isla's moves yet, but I just saw she's just learned Kiss, HP, Sum, and and Status Restored. Ah, okay, so she can be a healer as well. And the robot can be a healer, so it really, you're not kind of tied down to having one particular healer. So I guess I don't need to keep Marley if I don't want to. Although I do quite like her, so <laughs> we'll keep her for now. Right, let's proceed through the forest and see what we can discover. We'll keep following the tracks. And collecting the chests along the way, but keep following these kind of footsteps. Where are we going? Under the bridge. Right. Oh, it's a golden monkey thing. 
<laughs> we thought these last episode, but not gold ones. Right, okay. Ouch. 50. He's a bit of a tough cocky. Right, so I'm going to take out the little guys first, just to kind of get them out the way. Smashed it. Right. Let's give a bit of ice to the big guy. It's mildly annoying that sometimes, like there, the kind of, the health, all the names and everything at the bottom, or at the top, get in the way of seeing what's going on. Sometimes when you're kind of, you're selecting, um, you know, the moves that attack multiple people, sometimes you can't quite see who you're aiming at because of the, the different kind of menu bars and stuff. And it's quite hard to see sometimes how much health is being, how much damage is being done or anything. Boom. Done. Oh, hello. Get that little chest and then we'll proceed. Another shelter. We'll use that if we ever find another save point. <laughs> oh. We're out of the forest maze and heading towards the reptile lair. Oh. Can we, uh, actually, can we, I think on the map you can use shelters, I think. It's like the kind of, like being able to use tents on the world map in Final Fantasy VII, I think. So I'm going to see if I can use one. Boom, yes. Because I don't know. I mean, we're going into the reptile lair, aren't we? I suspect we're going to walk into a boss. If not right now, then very soon. Oh, the reptiles are out in force. Oh, okay. We can go down that hole. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. What is that face on the wall? Okay, not something that we can interact with. I can jump down this hole though. Oh! Not until I've dealt with a few evil weevils. <laughs> how, how tough are these guys then? Let's see how much health they've got. Oh, it doesn't want to tell me. Oh, well, not much. <laughs> Definitely less than 300 anyway. Okay, let's deal with this last one and then we can jump down that hole and keep exploring the reptile lair. What would the reptites want with my little, uh, time travel device? Whee! Down the hole. Oh, hello. He looks quite... boss-like. <laughs> right, well, there's no hiding from him, is there? A Megasaur! Right, what can we do? Okay, so... Ayala's just gonna do a regular attack. Chrono's gonna do spin cut because it does double the damage, and Molly's gonna do some ice. What? 54! That was double. Go home, Chrono. <laughs> I suspect um, physical attacks are not the way to go <laughs> against this guy, judging by what just happened. So, Chrono's gonna do lightning this time, and we'll do another ice, and. Isla can't do any magic, so maybe you can just heal someone instead. She's giving Marley a kiss. Ooh, he's shocked. There we go. Bit of a waste. I don't know, I think we'll just get her doing regular attacks if no one else needs healing. It might still do something. Boom, he's dead. No need to worry about it. I guess, I mean, it was a little mini bot. Well, I don't know if it was a mini boss or just a slightly tougher enemy. I mean, he wasn't even that tough. He just had more HP than the average Joe. Oh, it's these crazy alien dudes that we got ambushed by at the start. Where is the hole? Oh, he's blocking a chest. Can I have your chest, please, sir? <laughs> What's going on with the face? Like... Right, let's deal with him first and foremost. That makes no sense. I don't know. Let's deal with him first. Boom. 
Right, now whip out the magic on this big boy, the Megazor. Sounds like a Power Ranger. Megazor! Right, okay, we get the lightning, and Isla's just gonna have to do regular attacks. I don't know how much she does. Defense power decreases when shocked. Oh, wow. She, ah, okay. When he's shocked, the defense power goes down, and then I guess she can do regular attacks, because Isla's just done a whopper of an attack with just a regular hit. Boom. Okay, so shock is the way to go, or lightning robber. Right, so open this chest. Just waiting for the aliens to get out the way. And now we, <laughs> now we can go. Ooh, it's the uh, attack of the golden apes again. A winged ape, no less. What is that mushroom? Do oh, is that an enemy? I thought that was a bit of scenery. Oh, he's throwing it at us. How dare you? How very dare you? Come on. Let's finish him. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I tell you what, she really packs a punch. No wonder she likes to use her fists. She knows how to use them. Right, okay, so let's check the top side of the cave. Oh, great. We've got more golden apes that like to throw mushrooms about the place. Oh, we tried to sneak past. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have sneaked past, I guess. <laughs> we need to level up, don't we? I will pronounce the <laughs> it's shiitake, as in the Japanese mushroom. <laughs> I had to look twice at the name there. Right, so we've got a cave to the left we can go through. Ooh. Or oh, a staircase at the top being guarded by two demons. Oh god. I think someone needs a kiss. Marley needs a kiss. Quickly. Uh, what can we do? Mm. Cyclone? Okay. It'd be nice if the uh, <laughs> if that other alien guy was still stood at the back so that we could get all three of them. Oh, now he does it. Typical. <laughs> okay, so do the shock on the big guy because that lowers his defense, doesn't it? And then we can give him a good pounding. Yes, defense power decreases when shocked. Let's go. Right. Ooh. Hello. Save point. You know what that means? Just before we're kind of getting to what I suspect is the end of the reptite's lair. Are we about to get a boss? Let's find out. Footsteps follow. Right. Because we are following the footsteps of whoever stole our thing. What's this? Could those apes have made something this advanced? Azada! Oh, this is the big bad dude. Ah, the apes have arrived. Hmm. You're nothing like Ayala. What? Tell me what this is at once. Should we tell Azala about the key? No! None of your business. I guess you need some motivation. I give you motivation. Come, Nisbel. Oh, what? It's a little rhino, dude. Wow, and he hasn't missed arm day either. Everyone's got massive guns in this game. <laughs> right. Boss time. Now, I'm guessing we can maybe shock them. Like we could the other dudes. Ouch. That was a bit painful. Nothing we- Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we did lower his defense, which is great. The actual attack did next to nothing. But if it, it it's worth it if it lowers his defense for the next few turns, and then we can just kind of pound away at him for a bit. And then whenever it says that wears off, we'll we'll shock him again. And, yeah. I think we've, we've instantly- I mean, maybe it's just blind luck, but we've instantly, I think, figured out- the tactic to use against this dude. We are giving him a right pounding. Releases e electrocution energy. That doesn't sound good. Ah! That was really not good. Okay, and the defense thing is worn off. So we're doing terrible attacks. 
Oh no. Um, okay, Aura. Marley needs health the most. Um, who else needs it? I guess Isla. Ayala? Isla? I don't I'm not quite sure how to say that. <laughs> Been saying it the whole episode, but I've decided now I don't know how to. <laughs> right. Isla is going to kiss herself. <laughs> it's all legit. Okay. And aura on your on Chrono. Right, now let's unleash. We could do a spin cut on him. Now that his defense is lowered. Wonder how much that can do. Ooh, 240. That's not bad. Right, come on, let's just pound away at him quick while his defenses are down. Come on, how much health has this guy got? We must have knocked off at least, like, I don't know, 3,000? I'm just guessing. <laughs> We've been hammering him. Come on, die, you beast. Releases electrocution energy. Ah, that's the bad one. We don't like that one. Um, okay, hang on. We've got a chance to do Aura Well. So that heals everyone. And while we're doing that, I guess we can just hit him. Boom. Right, okay, yep. When he releases the electrocution, I think that's when it kind of wears off. Maybe Ayala can give him the finishing blow. She is way the strongest. Is that it? Looks good. Looks good, baby. Ah! 500 experience points and 10 tech points. Isla lands the Rolo Kick. Lands Jewel Tech Drill Kick. Right, where's that Azala? What were you saying about motivation? Not the apes beat Nisbel. We are not an ape. <laughs> well, let's not get into that discussion. Gifting back to Chrono now. But remember, we reptites will rule the world. No, you won't. <laughs> Your days are numbered. Is the gate key okay? Now we'll have to check it, take it, take it to Luca and see what she thinks. Thank goodness, it looks all right. I fight any time, Azala. I let no lose. What? I wasn't quite sure what she did there. You leave, Chrono. No fun for Isla. Thanks, Isla. I learned a lot from you. Sorry, Chrono. I try to be strong now. Just like Chrono. Come again, Chrono. Party, eat, dance, fight, fun. Right? Oh, I was right. She is going to stay behind. That is a shame. But I guess we're going to say goodbye to Isla. Bye-bye, Isla. We've got our key back, which is what matters, though. Next time, we're going to go to Melchior. And uh, hopefully, we're going to give him the ring. And hopefully, he can kind of begin rebuilding the sword. But, um... I don't know, that assumes that we've actually got the red rock. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not shown in our inventory anyway. But yeah, I will head back to that time and then save it. Right, so we are back at the end of times. I am going to save it right here. And then next time we'll go and have a chat with Melchior. And uh, see if he can fix the Masamune for us. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oga bonga monga meeple. <laughs>